The bullies were just having fun. Time to barge into their parents' room. It wasn't every day that they had the house to themselves. When the bookcase started to open out, the boys desperately wished that their parents were home. These things only happen in movies, right? Well, the boys didn't know that their adventure was soon going to turn into a chilling horror story. Hello everyone, and welcome. Brace yourself, because today, we're going to talk about a story that will leave you checking into every nook and cranny of your house. Before we dive into this real life horror house, make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel. And remember to click on that little bell icon so that you'll never miss our stories. They had recently moved into the house. After months of searching, they finally managed to find a place that fit them perfectly. The house was large and well furnished. The two kids even got their own rooms. The parents were happy that the walls were soundproof. Raising two energetic boys was a raucous business. Everything about the house was perfect, just a place for them to build a home for themselves. Little did they know about the person lurking about within their perfect house. The start of their horror story was marked by an ordinary day. The boys were at their games, and the parents had some chores to run. It was easier to let the boys stay at home. They won't be gone for long anyway. Little did they know that they'd be rushing back to a much different house. The boys were thrilled to have the house to themselves. They screamed and played around, making as much noise as they wanted. There was no mom or dad to yell at them to keep their voices down. Within minutes since their parents left, the boys had challenged themselves to a wrestling match. Exchanging playful punches, the boys wandered all over the house. Eventually, they ended up in their parents' room. They had entered a restricted territory. They tiptoed around, snooping around their parents' things. The boys walked up to the large built-in bookcase in the room. The younger one went a little closer to see if he could find something interesting. Suddenly, the elder boy pushed his little brother. Instinctively, the boy grabbed onto the closest thing he could get a hold of, the bookcase. The elder boy froze in place. That bookcase seemed pretty valuable. Besides, they weren't even supposed to be in their parents' room. If something happened to the bookcase or his brother, he'd be grounded for sure. But the little brother quickly regained his balance. He wasn't harmed and the bookcase wasn't damaged. The boys sighed in relief and turned to leave the room before they could get into trouble. The boys had no idea that trouble was just beginning. The bookcase creaked. The precious bookcase seemed to be splitting open and falling out of its hinges. The boys pushed it in the hopes of keeping it upright. A minute or so later, it was clear to the boys that the bookcase was not broken. The bookcase was falling so slowly like an old door creaking open. The boys stood back aghast as it opened up. Not a single book budged from its place. Despite the creaking, the bookcase opened smoothly, as if it hadn't been out of use at all. Although this was the first time, the boys or anyone else in their family came across the door. The boys stared at the opening in disbelief. They had watched plenty of movies where someone pulled a book and a secret passageway opened. But this wasn't a movie. This wasn't even some strange big house. It was their home, and this secret door had been right under their noses. The boys took a little peek. It was a pitch black inside. Should they call their parents? But then they would surely ask what the boys were doing in their room in the first place. This was enough reason for the brothers to delay calling the parents. They took another look inside. It didn't feel stuffy so they guessed that the opening extended a bit further. But to where? Did the previous owner of the house not know of its existence either? All they knew was that the owners were a couple who built the house but moved to India just two years later. Their minds were buzzing with questions. Their initial fright was now replaced with excitement. Here was an adventure, right here in their own house, which some people only find in books and movies they had to explore. What the boys didn't know was that their adventure would soon leave them with nightmares for days to come. 
one of the boys dashed out and grabbed a flashlight. He shone it in, and the boys saw a small room enclosed by four naked walls. Huddled together, the boys stepped through the bookcase door. Something wasn't right. The room felt too airy to be a completely closed up space. The boys took one more cautious step and almost broke their necks. The flashlight glinted over something metallic and black. A staircase? They stared at each other in wonder. They had now stumbled across a staircase, spiraling downwards. Where did it lead to? The boys hesitated. They couldn't find any lights, so it was bound to be dark all the way down. Besides, they didn't know what was down there, but they couldn't give up now. And if their parents came, they surely wouldn't let the boys wander down there. The boys took a deep breath and down they went. Deeper they went, more their excitement was giving way to fear. What were they throwing themselves into? They hadn't even thought of what would happen if the bookcase closed them inside. But now they were in too deep to turn back. Finally, the boys could see a landing from the light in their flashlight. They hurried towards it. They made it down and waved the flashlight. But again, they were met with nothing. Why would someone build a secret staircase leading nowhere? They looked around and came across a small crawl space. It seemed like their adventures were not over just yet. They wiggled through, their curiosity getting the best of them. The boys couldn't believe their eyes. Their hair stood on ends as they stared ahead of them. Hidden behind the secret door and a mysterious staircase was a small room. There were no windows or any other doors. There were a messy bed and some random things strewn about the floor. The boys almost paralyzed in as the light fell on a creepy face staring at them. A childish face stared at them with a frozen smile. It was seemed like a baby girl dressed in vintage clothing. Were they seeing things? Or were there more faces staring back at them? The boys backed away in fear, but the faces were unrealistically still. They were just dolls. The boys heaved a huge sigh of relief not knowing that the worst was still ahead of them. The brothers laughed at each other's silly fears and walked into the next room. A little braver, after the doll incident, the boys started to snoop around the secret room. They came across an old wooden toy box. To their disappointment, it was locked. They landed several blows on the padlock, but it wouldn't budge. The boys started to look for the key. The doll still gave them the chills, that box seemed promising. It wasn't easy to search for a tiny key in a pitch dark room with a small flashlight. They turned their attention to the messed up bed and started looking for the key. Moments later, the little boy gasped. He was staring at something. His brother shone the flashlight. It was just a banana peel, nothing to make a fuss over. Then it struck him. It was a fresh banana peel, not the least bit rotten chills started running down their spines. This was not some old abandoned room. Someone was living here. A stranger under the same roof with them. The boys looked around them frantically. Was that person in here? Had this person been staring at them this whole time? That's when the boys saw it. Candy wrappers. Not just any candy wrappers. They were wrappers from the candy the boys had received for Halloween. This could only mean one thing. Whoever was in this room searched through their things. Someone was living in their house. Someone who lived in a secret dark room and collected creepy dolls. Someone lurked through their corridors and snuck into their rooms. And now they had played right into this person's hand. This was no longer a fun adventure. The boys rushed up the stairs and frantically called their parents. The parents would have usually thought that the boys were playing some prank, but the terror in their voices was real. Somebody's in here. Somebody's inside the house, they said over and over again. Their parents came home as fast as they could. The boys weren't lying. They quickly snapped some pictures and called the authorities. Everything was a blur after that. The boys were sent to a friend's house for their safety. The police searched the area inside out, but nothing was found. They thought that someone was just living there temporarily. The soundproofed walls 
had served as a good cover for them to sneak in and out. This mystery was never solved. The story and the photos were posted online for a while, but had since been taken down. There were no follow-ups on the story, except for the fact that the secret space was boarded up entirely, and we were left with nothing but a sense of paranoia about our own houses. What would you have done if you found a secret space in your house? Let us know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel for more amazing stories like this, and thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.